Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use another component called breadcrumb in material UI using react. So how we can do this that we are going to learn in this video. For that, I create one more component. I give the name MUI breadcrumb dot JSX. Here I say RAFCE. Save this. Now, this component I am going to add has a home component here. In place of button, I say MUI breadcrumb like that. I want to use. I want to remove this. Save this. So, if you see now, so after clicking on home button, we have this breadcrumb here as a home. So, what is the breadcrumb and what is the meaning of this that we are going to learn here. So, for that in this breadcrumb, what I do, I just create first of all box. I say box component like this. Under this box component, I remove this. And here I use breadcrumb. So I say breadcrumbs from material UI like that. Here under this breadcrumb, I use some link. So I say link here from material UI, you see. And that link, what we have, I have, have href here. So I say hash for this. And I pass here uh, like I say home and then I make a multiple copy of this and I say second one is product then I say service services and then I say contact us like that save that and if you see now you we have such kind of breadcrumb you see link is not working because i have a hash so such kind of information like a navigation bar we can put like this you see and now what we can do more uh, here i can add button also i can say button and uh, i say here, here that button is uh, i give here name i say click me like that and uh, this button we have from material ui so i say import button from material ui so here i say like that save this now if you see we have a button also like that you may add a button also I can add some text also but that is not a matter now you see that we have a uh, here this underline so that we can remove by using CSS also by using one property also like that suppose I select all now here I say underline under line and that is and I say hover so it should be come whenever I click on this and my cursor goes on that then it come underline you see that is called hover underline hover so underline will come only when i will make a cursor on it like that you see now we can say here none also underline equal to null now we can use separator also you see breadcrumb is there so i can give here aria label also for identification so i can say breadcrumb as a aria label and here i can give separator also separator and i can provide this separator as this pipe symbol and you see that this separator will convert into this pipe like that and this separator i can uh, set as this arrow also like that you see i have this arrow also 
and I can have a special icon also for that that icon is called navigation next so I can say navigation next this icon I can put here copy this and I just go there and paste here and here I can give this icon also and here I say navigation next icon like that save this and you will see that we have such also we can give a small size also to that so I say font size font size equal to small save this and we have such kind of thing like that you see now uh, this is a border also so I can give a margin also so I say M M2 save this you see we have margin like that and margin from X side also so we can say MX save this and you see we have such kind of thing also now uh, we have few more setting also uh, here I can say that we have a max item how many items you want to display I say two so max item is two at a time so you see that only two will display one from this eclipse you see I refresh it and you see we have a ellipses so before this ellipses we have one item after this we have a one item so I click on ellipses then we have all the links now again I refresh it so I can also decide how many items I want to display before the ellipses and after the ellipses that we can also set here I can say item before before collapse I say two I want to display before collapse so you see that before collapse I should need two items and I can set also after collapse I need two so I can say here after after collapse also I need two. you see then after collapse we have you can click on this then all will come so like that we can decide how many links you want to visible whether you want to use link or you want to link button or you want to link any common text that you can decide yourself what you want there are so many properties also available you can use as per your requirements but this is the fundamental basic use of breadcrumbs so you can use it for navigation purpose sometime we have to show navigation also in a website so we can use this is very very simple and just we click pass here link and after passing a link it will open the link so that's all and the use of breadcrumb so that's all in this video I think you learn breadcrumb also so if you learn please do subscribe thank you for watching this video